Alright, what's going on guys? I got a little mystery box here. I'm not really sure what's in this one guys, so let's go ahead and take a look and take a peek inside and see what we got here in this mystery box here. It's a box that I just got in the mail. Should have some goodies in here, I'm sure it does. All my packages do. Looks like we got I don't I don't get these often. These are some weird looking packing peanuts, I guess they're called. And it looks like here are the figures we got. And just tons of other peanuts here. I hate these things. I'll let you know that, that guys. Those are probably the worst thing to get. Because there's these get everywhere. They're like they peel everywhere. And, and you guys are just staring at a blank screen here. So I'm just going to put these in the package real quick here. As I get more professional. There'll be cuts and stuff like that. But uh, so now you've got to deal with that. As soon as... RB hits like 2k subs, um, things will be changing. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. So this is more of a non-Star Wars haul here for non-Star Wars folk. So we got a power miner here, a CMF power miner. Um, as a plan to expand RB, I got to start expanding just beyond Star Wars. You got Steve from Minecraft here, so that's pretty cool. I got tons of Star Wars as well, but we're going to show those at the end. Then we got Lloyd when he first becomes the Green Ninja. And another Lloyd when he first becomes the Green Ninja because you got to have two because it was that just such a sentimental moment. And then you got a elf it looks like, so one of Santa's helpers here has joined uh, Republic Bricks HQ. He said... You can't be doing this without me. He's going to help me build some presents for you guys for Christmas time. Then you got a clown over here. You can't have a haul without a clown. So we got him as well. Then we got a female elf. Because you can't just have a male elf. You got to have a female one too. And then you also have a Lloyd DX. I believe this is ZX. And I believe that is DX. The one with the hair. I may have got them. I'm, I know I didn't get them mixed up. And then you got this cool looking dude, and this guy's actually, I'm going to probably use this guy actually in my personal collection. I'm building some sort of weird squad over here. I guess this is a little bit off topic. I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's like a uh, kind of shadow squad here. I'm not sure if you guys I think these are cool or not. I don't know, just kind of put some cool things together. So this head will definitely come into play and, and this body not maybe not so the legs i love this line of ninjago it's probably my favorite line next to the snake line and the skeleton line the, the, all those three are the best lines ever from ninjago in my opinion then you got three of these guys here he's supposed to have a a tan hat but i believe that's gonna be uh knuckle or something like that it's close to that and then this is um crack inner frack jaw one, one of those ones I, I used to know all these skeleton names, but these guys are actually really cool. One of these guys will probably find their way into my personal collection just because uh, I love Ninjago. I actually have like the little Ninjago, like the OG Ninjago little staged up the right there. So I have most of these ones. I'll definitely be adding at least one of those guys, at least one, maybe two or three, maybe all of them. Now, this is another Ninjago figure here. I'll probably hold on to him until I can get his max. General Kuzo is actually one of my favorite Ninjago figures. Stone Warriors, you know, that's also a respectable line. That one, that one's probably my fourth favorite line. That one's pretty sweet as well. And then you have um, Zane ZX there. That one was pretty respectable. I love the Ninjago suits there, so I can respect that line. It probably goes, my first one is probably the Snakes. And then there's another... Zane ZX because I guess you gotta have two. Probably the snake line is my favorite because I remember I used to watch Ninjago every week with my sister. She's a few years younger than me and we'd always watch that. That was pretty classic. So, um, you know, that's probably my favorite one. My second favorite one, um, probably from like watching standpoint, probably was the Stone Army because I used to watch the show when I was younger. And then probably from like buying standpoint, it probably would be the the one with uh, these guys here that that line was pretty awesome and then the third line uh, probably is the OG line and then the Stone Warrior line so it, it's top four it's definitely really cool I love uh, those four Ninjago lines after that like 
And then this is um, a little, you know, fisherman or gnome or whatever. I thought this line was straight up trash. After that, they've kind of went down. I haven't even seen the Lego Ninjago movie for some reason. I'll probably watch it here pretty soon. And then you got this uh, skeleton as well. So tons of these skeletons, which is pretty cool. I haven't showed any Star Wars minifigures yet. I think we have about four of them. So that's uh, five of them. Then you got a Cole ZX. So nearly the whole ninja squad here. I think the only one we're missing is going to be... Yeah, because we... The only one we're missing is Kai here. Because look, we got... Four of them. We almost got the whole entire gang here. We got this Kai, but... That doesn't count. And he, he switched up these heads here. All these heads are all switched up. That's going to drive me crazy. So I'll make sure to change that. Then we got a zombie here from Scooby Dooby Doo. I never really cared too much for that show when I was younger. It was whatever. Then you got an X-Wing pilot with a resistance helmet. So that's the first of the Star Wars figures, which I know you guys are happy to see. Then you have a black royal guard. I'm not sure why they made that since it's not canon and kind of wasted a battle pack on it, but you know, whatever. Then you have a really sweet Ayla Sakira there. The newer one, the cheaper of the two. And then you have the older one, which kind of dropped in value a little bit because of the newer one. And that one's pretty cool too. I, I like them both equally. I think they're both awesome. And then you, which one do you guys like? Tell me down below. And then lastly, we got good old Obi-Wan Paddle One. So, these are the minifigures we got here today, guys. We also got two accessories as well. I guess that could kind of fulfill that little space there. So, yeah, guys, this is um, the haul in here today. Hope you guys enjoy it. This will probably be out by February 24th. So, this will all be in the sale there and for sale in the future. Just check out Republic Bricks on Instagram. The website will be up hopefully in the coming months. So we'll have that going as well too. That'll come out in future videos. For now, see you later. Bye-bye.